Hey guys, I have another real time recipe for you this week and tonight we are having fish for dinner. Now don't make that yucky fishy face because my husband gives me that face sometimes and there is no reason for it. Fish is delicious for dinner, especially if you put it together with a yummy sauce like a Provencal sauce. You are going to love it, I'm telling you. Now, if you need further inspiration that fish is delicious, I encourage you to check out my new favorite Instagram feed. Do you guys know this guy, Bart, Bart's Fish Tales? Oh my gosh, if you don't, you have got to go check him out. He is fantastic. He does these 15 second videos all about fish for dinner. He's a chef out of Amsterdam and I love what he's doing and I'm telling you if you need some inspiration go over there check him out follow his feed he only has like 2,000 followers but he needs like 200,000 because he is so great anytime I see somebody doing something clever with food and video gets my attention anyway check out Bart so for this recipe I am going to use a cod fish I love cod because it's a really wonderful kind of fatty fish it's similar to a sea bass but it doesn't have the price of a sea bass it's also a great fish for those who aren't so sure about fish for dinner <laughs> I like to call it fish for beginners because it's not fishy, it's inexpensive, and it's really delicious. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to hit it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and of course my third seasoning, Herbs de Provence. Always gotta have a little Herbs de Provence. Now, a couple of weeks ago, one of you guys left me a comment about sauteing things in olive oil that when it gets to a high temperature, it actually can get kind of toxic. So I didn't know about this and I did some research and in fact, you're kind of right. It's, I guess it's not that safe to heat olive oil past its smoking point. So you recommended some coconut oil and I have to tell you, thank you. This is my new favorite thing. It comes in a jar like this. When you open it, you'll see it's a solid. It almost kind of looks like a shortening, but when you melt it in a pan, it actually melts down to a wonderful oil. So we're gonna take two teaspoons of the coconut oil. We're going to put it in our pan and let it melt down. And you'll see it melts just like butter. We are going to place our fish into the pan, seasoning side down. That's the side we wanna have seared, and anytime you're searing a fish, you always want that seasoning on the top because that's just gonna lock in all that flavor. While that's searing, we can prep our Provencal sauce. So you're gonna take two Roma tomatoes. We are going to slice them. I always find it's easier to get a tomato to cook faster if you slice it into nice little chunks. So that term Provencal basically just means coming from the region of Provence in France. One of my favorite regions, by the way. It is beautiful down there, and they make lots of things Provencal, which is usually a combination of tomatoes, capers, olives, and some fresh herbs. Okay, so now that our tomatoes are nice and chopped, we are going to go back to our coconut oil, and we're gonna use another two teaspoons. We're gonna add that. That will start to melt down. We are then going to take our Kalamata olives. Make sure you get the pitted kind because it'll just make this dish go a lot quicker. And you're gonna just slice them roughly into nice little chunks. Now, it looks like our fish is ready to be flipped. So let's just check this out. See how this is browned on the outside and you can start to see the fish coming apart in places? That's when you know it's time to flip. So we're gonna give it a flip and then we are going to turn off the flame. So the heat from the pan is just going to continue to rise up and cook that fish to perfection. So a lot of times why people don't like fish is because it's overcooked. And who wants a nice dried piece of fish? Nobody, that's not gonna be in again. So yeah, you wanna make sure that you cook it well. And one of the secrets that I have learned over the years is sear it on one side. If it's a piece of fish about this thick, you can just turn off the flame and let it actually cook in the hot pan and you'll have a perfect piece of fish. Okay, so see the tomatoes, once they get to this point, you wanna add your wine. So I really love to use just a nice Chardonnay or Pinot Grigio would be good too. Now if you don't drink, that's okay. You could add uh, about a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice and a tablespoon of water. Make sure you get the fresh lemon juice, not the lemon juice and those little plastic lemons. No good, you want the fresh. Okay, so we're gonna add that. There we go. And that's just gonna simmer down. It looks pretty watery now, but as it reduces, it's gonna thicken up and create a beautiful sauce. Okay, then we're gonna add our olives and some capers. Now, I actually don't rinse my capers. I like the brininess, I'll just throw them right in, but if you wanna rinse them for a little less salt, you can do that too. Okay, and then the final step is we're going to add some of this delicious fresh parsley. Anytime I'm making fish, I love to use fresh parsley. It just makes everything taste just so gourmet and fresh. If you grow one herb in your garden, let it be parsley, because you can do so much with it. And it's pretty hearty, it doesn't really take a lot. Okay, I'm gonna throw that in there, see? And now we have got this gorgeous looking sauce here. Now we're gonna take our fantastic looking sauce, which is just perfect right now, and we are going to create a bed of Provencal sauce on our plate. 
ready for our fish. Then we are going to delicately take our fish, which is just looking perfect, and we are going to place it on top. Now it's not done yet. We are gonna go back to our olive oil. We're not gonna heat it to toxic temperatures. We are just going to finish it with a little drizzle, just for some flavor. Then, if you have it in the cabinet, don't go out and buy it specially, but if you do have it, a little mulberry sea salt really kicks this over the edge. It's just a fleur de sel salt that's a really light, nice, crunchy salt that isn't too salty. Um, that's just a great finishing salt for things like meats and fish. We're gonna do that, and then if you wanna be extra fancy, who doesn't wanna be extra fancy, right? Especially on a weeknight, we're gonna take some fresh parsley and just put that on top. And there you have it, dinner in 15 minutes or less. Okay, I gotta go in, this looks too good to pass up. Oh, look at that, it's cooked perfectly. Okay, I'm going in. Mmm, oh that is good. This is gonna change your mind about fish, I promise. It's really good with the sauce and the capers and the fresh parsley. Mm. Delicious. Okay, you guys, I hope that I have changed your mind forever and you will consider fish for dinner, especially if you're looking for something quick and easy. You cannot go wrong with fish. So let me know how it goes, give it a try, head on over to Bart and check out what he's got cooking because he has some delicious recipes too. And between the two of us, maybe we will turn you into fish lovers forever. All right, you guys, I'll see you back here next week when we are going to tackle Mardi Gras. I'm gonna show you how to make some fantastic beignets that you won't wanna miss. I'll see you then, bye.